Hello, hello everyone. Welcome. Today is Wednesday, October the 16th, 2024. And today I found a travel story that kind of marries my love of tiny homes slash unique homes with my love of travel. And I thought that you guys might actually enjoy this one too. So let's get into this. So first of all, did you guys know that you can 3D print a home? This was news to me, but I shouldn't be surprised. I mean, you can pretty much 3D print anything. These have been going on for the last six years, apparently, and uh, the first 3D printed hotel is going to be coming to Texas. It should be done in 2026. I found this story today. They announced it back in September, so I was just really excited to share it with you. The hotel is currently under construction in the city of Marfa. It's actually an extension of what is currently sort of like a campground. It is called El Cosmico. I'll read you something right off of their website to kind of describe what it is at the moment. Uh, it says, the vision has been to create a living laboratory for artistic, cultural, and community experimentation. This project is a collaboration between a company in Austin, Texas called Icon, which uh, does the 3D printing construction, and an architecture firm, now this is where I might pronounce it wrong, Jark Ingalls Group, along with the El Cosmico owner, Liz Lambert. The process uses a very large 3D printer from the website, it says that it is 46 feet wide by 15 feet tall, and it weighs 4.75 tons, so that's really big. And the way that this is done is that it pours a concrete type substance called lavacrete into a pattern that is directed by the software. So they can operate this from a smartphone or a tablet. I think this is a really cool idea, and I will be very excited to see this project once it is done. The photos that you're seeing I have taken straight off the Icon website and renderings of the completed project show sort of a neutral theme with comfortable and tasteful furniture on the interior. Where is Marfa? Well, it appears that there's only about 1,700 people that live in the actual town. It is in the middle of the Texas desert, but it does draw a large tourist population to the area. It is very popular with artists and art lovers. It is quite a distance from any local airports. It's about three hours from the El Paso airport, so there's quite a drive to get there, but you will be in this really neat environment once you do get there. It's going to draw quite a few people. I would love to go and see it once it's complete. So this project did break ground last month and it is expected to be completed by 2026. So I'll keep my eye on that to see how it goes as it goes along, if there's any hiccups or anything like that, anything I can report back. So El Cosmico will be relocating to a 60 acre property, which is going to include these new 3D accommodations, but it will also include a restaurant, a spa, a pool, and other accommodations as well. As for pricing, they haven't said exactly how much the price will be, but it is expected that they will be between $200 and $450 per night, so we'll see how that goes. In other news, Disney has just announced today they're expanding their Lightning Lane offerings by offering something called the Premier Pass. Now, I know there's gonna be a whole bunch of videos done on this, so those should help you navigate exactly what this means, but the pass itself is gonna work differently in California than it will in Florida. So depending on which park you're going to will depend how much you pay as well as how that pass works. For our closer park here in Orlando, Florida, it looks like they are gonna roll out in very limited quantities starting October the 30th. So if you're planning a trip to Disney World at that time, you might wanna look into this premier pass. I know for us, we typically do not tend to spend the extra money it seems like Disney is really getting out of hand with experiences that are only available to those with a ton of money. With this Premier Pass, it looks like you will be able to get a one-time entry into each Lightning Lane experience that they do have in the park for one day. They're still gonna be offering the other types of Lightning Lane, whether it be the, the single ride or the multi-lane pass, which we happen to use for our last day at uh, Animal Kingdom. I can add that video up in the corner if you'd like to check that out. It worked out really well for us. We have used it on other days when it did not work out super well, especially when the park is overly populated. We had a really difficult time getting times for our lightning lanes. So make sure you do your research before you go if this is something that you are interested in. I'll get you the prices here for this premium uh, experience. It looks like they will be $129 to $449 American 
per pass plus tax with the highest prices being on peak travel days. In Florida, it looks like you're only gonna be able to use it in one park per day. In California, if you have the park hopper option with your ticket, you will be able to use it in both of those parks. Different rules for different areas. This premier pass is only going to be available for those staying in deluxe and deluxe villas. We'll see how it goes. This is just an overview of what is happening in Disney World. Definitely check out videos on the actual Premier Pass and their use. I'm curious to hear what you guys have to say out there, whether or not you think that this is something you would use or pay for. I won't say we'll never use it, but I don't intend to use it anytime soon. If you haven't done so yet, please do like this video. Please subscribe. We've got some upcoming adventures coming up and uh, hopefully some more travel news. So. Thanks everybody for coming along and we will catch you guys all in the next video.